Hi everybody, I just thought I'd um, let you see the studio now and what we're doing. This has uh, been hoovered today, so this is as clean as the studio gets. We've got some uh, mouse plates are all there. There's some little pots. They're going to have wooden little carved wooden handles on the top. That's a double one there. Just to throw that big. I've got one. Uh, I'll show you a photograph of that in a minute. So that's there. There's some there that's already dry waiting to be done. Pots there waiting to be glazed. Tea bowls are turned the other day. Dark up there. That's better. Okay. Another cross on here. Some more biscuited ware. That's, this is all for the next wood firing. Clean bench. Amazing. Never been no. If I stay like this for about 10 minutes, then we're back to uh, the unholy mess that we've had before. <laughs> Never mind. Thought I'd share it. Um, just, uh, just a prequel list to. Um, so you can see me. It's just a prequel this to a um, little turning video I've got now. I did a bowl for someone and um, I'm just going to show you how to turn the bottom of it. Okay? Talk to you soon. I'm doing a bit more turning now. I'm just doing a big bowl. Well, big for me. Same principle as uh, I did with the tea bowls. As we flatten the base, get the base nice and flat. First of all, get a feel for how wide we want to have this uh, this base. See how much we're going to turn away. And that'll do it. So we get rid of this bulk. Again, turn the corner off. All about getting rid of corners when you're turning, I think it is anyway. So I've turned the corner there to the where I think I want the base looking at the rim and size of it. I'll then mark find the proper tool. Mark the inside edge of the foot ring. That's going to do it. Get rid of the corners and then we start to take it and go in. And produce the foot ring. Now getting rid of the bulk of this and the base here. Before I put it on the wheel, I had a look at the inside, and just in my mind's eye, I got some sort of. Uh, mental picture of what the inside profile is. It's the inside profile of the bowl so we get it nice and even. I think I need to take a little bit more out of this.
corner off again. Quite a nice uh, tool for getting the required depth inside this foot ring here. And then what I'll do is turn that away to it, and that way, it, hopefully, I won't turn the foot ring out. I have been known to get carried away with uh, turning, it's quite a therapeutic thing, I think, turning, get into it. And I've been known to actually turn a foot ring turn the foot ring completely uh, out and it just drops in. <laughs> this is a commission piece for someone. can't say who because it's a surprise for someone else <laughs> and they tend to watch my videos. So. doing big bowls, just they take up so much space in my small kiln that I've got a guarantee to sell them, really, <coughs> to make it worthwhile. A bowl this size I might only get four or five in, the most four maybe. <coughs> I do tend to pack around them, but trying to get the dump, dump thing in. Okay, there's the bolt. This has got um, the black, the slip I've got from the black pots that I made. Um, I've kept some of the slip and I've painted it on the edge and that's what I shall do is I'm going to do some lettering in here. So I might make a video of that. I'll just use a hacksaw blade that's been filed down or a, if I can find the tool that I use to do it I will. You can just use a hacksaw blade that's been filed to a chisel point and you do chisel writing. And I'll show you that bit. 
bit later. Okay.